Hi everyone, this is Dimitri Pergamonic with MarketChameleon.com. We're going to go over a, an example using the seasonality tool, and in this example I'm going to use the QQQ ETFs. With the seasonality, it's a tool that looks at historical patterns and stock behavior to look for uh, seasonal strengths or seasonal weakness. And we're just going to jump into this example and show you what, what I mean. If, so over here, what we did is divide the seasonality into calendar months. So you could see it cross, going from January to February, and it looks at the last 11 years. The first insight we have over here is the seasonal strength, and that's been in July. We could see out of the last 11 years, it's been up every year for an average return of 4.3%. And if you highlight that table, it shows you uh, for each year what the performance was by the end of the month. Here you have the average. And below here, you have the frequency of wins versus losses. Uh, well, next, next to it, we see the seasonal weakness here in June. And the weakest period, I'm going to unhighlight that, the weakest has been in June. You could see that on average, it actually had a, a negative 0.2% return. And the frequency of wins is 45.5% versus 54.5% the frequency of losses uh, in June. And following going down the line, we also see the absolute average moves. In other words, the magnitude of the moves in either direction. And this is for people who are trading either um, straddles or some option strategies. And you need to study the magnitude of the moves. You have it below. You also have the, the high and low magnitude of the move. And the last thing below here is the medium move, which is the uh, average the the return right in the middle that's just to check against the average in, in case the average got pulled one way or the other and then you also have the range for each cal calendar month of the best and the worst return this way it gives you a a range between between the high and the low in the last 11 years um, thanks for watching guys see you next video